Okay, so we are doing our deep dive a little bit late this week. We're doing it from December the 12th through the 18th. I've been busy doing my 2024 reports for crypto. I just posted my CleanSpark 2024 forecast. You can purchase it through my Patreon. I will leave the links below. It's very interesting. In general, it's very interesting what's going on next year. Very interesting. There's a lot of large transits occurring. I think it'll be a, a very, very exciting year. So you don't want to miss out on that because you getting the forecast, you can you can know what's anticipate what's going to occur before it occurs and be ready. Get yourself set up and ready to take different positions or this is not financial advice, but it, it gets you prepared for what's about to occur. So again, my links will be below. You can purchase it through Patreon. So let's get into this forecast. So the new moon on the 12th tomorrow is in Sagittarius at 20 degrees. The key planets of this new moon, key planets are the planets that are situated in the 10th house, 1st, 4th, or 7th house. Those planets throughout this new month, this month cycle up until the next new moon will be indicators of how the price is going to go, the emotional sentiment is going to go, depending on what their transits are and what they're doing in the sky. So Venus being in the 4th house. Let me make this a little bit bigger, guys. Hold on. Okay. That's not better. I'm sorry. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So Venus. No, it's not Venus. What I'm saying, it is not Venus. The key planets this month is Pluto, not Venus. I don't know why I'm saying Venus. Venus and Mars are in the fifth house. The south node is in the fourth house and the north node's in the tenth house. So those, they're not planets, but they could play an important indicator of this month. So the only planet in, that is a key planet is Pluto. <clears throat> Okay. I don't know why I kept thinking that Venus was, but it's not. Okay. So with the sun and the moon, the moon being the most important, and it is even more important this month because the ascending sign, the ascendant, not the ascending sign, the ascendant line here, the sun is rising as this is occurring is in the sign of cancer. Can sign of cancer rules the moon. So the moon is a bit more sh stronger here. It's in the sign, moon is in Sagittarius, but the ruler of this chart that I'm looking at is the moon. So it makes it even more impactful. So let's take a look at what the moon is doing. So the moon is next to Mars. We're gonna be volatility. Prices is going to be moving, but what way is it going to be moving? The sun and the moon are next to each other. It's a new moon. The moon is squaring to Neptune, which is a planet that brings about situations that don't always make sense. It's a challenge. So this could be challenging, but there could be things that occur that just also don't make sense. We just have to be aware of that. Sun and the moon are also trining to the north node. So this is a positive. And they're trining Chiron. Okay. Again, north node and south node are not planets. They're the north and the south node. And they're not looked at as key planets because obviously they're not planets. But we could, <clears throat> excuse me, we can look at this and say that 
they will play an important event. And because they're trining to them, this is positive. It's going to help offset the moon squaring to Venus, squaring to Neptune, squaring to Neptune, because Neptune can be difficult. Neptune is sextile to Pluto. Excuse me. Okay. Neptune is sextile to Pluto. That's a very long transit. It could influence it, though. It could, it could offset this challenging aspect to Neptune. Now, this could be throughout the month, and perhaps this could be why price movements that will not make sense will occur with this harmonious transit with Neptune and Pluto. The other thing we're looking at here is Venus is opposite to Jupiter. Venus is at nine degrees of Scorpio and Jupiter is at six degrees of Taurus. They're moving away from each other. They're not exact any further, but they're still having an opposition. And Neptune is having, yeah, having a square to the sun and the moon. Okay. This is going to, this is going to be volatile. It's going to be volatile prices during this new moon. It's not going to, a lot of times new moons bring back positive prices. It's a new moon, new cycle. This one, this one's going to be not that way. The positive is that. Pluto and the North Node are not squaring any further. This will help relieve some pressure. But with the Sun and the Moon squaring to Neptune and Venus opposite to Jupiter, that's going to be a bit intense. It's not going to be all negative. It's not going to be all positive. It's just going to be a lot of price movement during this new moon here and we can expect to have a volatile month this month as well because of this or up until the next new moon there will be things that occur that don't make sense and that could be positive or negative that would be neptune coming into play here the sun is also squaring the midhaven that's challenging that could just be telling us that today it's just going to have a challenging day it won't be this way throughout the whole entire new moon cycle, but this is going to be a volatile day. We have Jupiter and Saturn in contra parallel. Okay, they're on different levels of the sky. It's not an opposition. It's not a square. It's they're just on different levels. So that is also telling us that this the prices will be on different levels. It's going to be a volatile day today during this new moon the cycle itself is going to be volatile as well again I, I really feel that there's going to be price movements that are not going to make sense throughout this month neptune is also next to the midhaven it's not on top of it and when that occurs things will really not make sense as to the price movement that would probably that could so We'll keep a watch at, out for that. Again, it's squaring the sun and the moon. It is close to this midhaven. It's not on top of it, but it's close. So we're just, it's just something to keep a, a watch on. With the south node and the north node here, playing a bit of a role in this new moon, we could have some very nice price increases, but some unexpected decreases as well. The North Node is also squaring the Ascendant. That is challenging as well. Again, this is going to be a volatile month this month. Let's go over to Bitcoin's chart and see what's going on there. On the day of this new moon, the Sun is squaring Bitcoin's moon. So the Sun is squaring Bitcoin's moon, it's squaring Saturn, and squaring Uranus. The sun moves pretty quickly, so it will not be here forever. It's not like it's Uranus, or Saturn, or Jupiter, or any outer planets. It's quicker moving, so it's this is going to be a challenge. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. But the sun is also sextile to Neptune. Neptune is not a key planet, but it's playing a 
role, a, a little bit of a role here. So things just might not make sense during this new moon. The moon is sextile to Bitcoin's north node, and it's ascendant. This is positive. This is very positive. That could give some nice price increases at various times during the day. Venus. Venus is an important planet to Bitcoin because it's the ruler of its midhaven. Saturn is the ruler of its chart because that's where the sun is sitting in Capricorn. Venus is squaring to the north node. So we have these conflicting transits, conflicting conversations that are occurring. It's, again, it's going to be a volatile day. The Uranus is sextiling Bitcoin's moon. This could be also why, why prices have also, one of the reasons why prices have been increasing the way they have been. Because Uranus is here. It's sextiling the moon. It's, it's getting things going. It's sextiling a good planet. This is, this is really good that it is. It's very influential, the moon, Bitcoin's moon as well. Saturn is conjunct to Bitcoin's Venus. I don't know when exactly that occurred. Saturn conjunct Venus right there. Okay, so that is moving away. And it's a transit that is getting further apart. So it's not as strong. Okay, that happened in February 27th, 2023. It's moving direct now, so it's def definitely moving for, okay, that's why, excuse me. It was moving retrograde, so now that it's moving direct, it is moving further apart, so it's having a less of an effect. It's still having an influence, though, because it is there. So it's just something to be aware of. It's Again, it's going to be a volatile month, um, a volatile day, and I believe it's going to be a volatile month for December. It's the end of the year, the holidays are coming up, people pull money out, the price is up, people are going to pull money out for different holiday gifts or just to take profits out. So just be aware of that. It's going to be a volatile month, a volatile day for the new moon as well. And I put volatile and unexpected, which is yes, with that Neptune having a bit of an influence, it will be unexpected. You enjoyed again i have my crypto 2024 forecast coming out wednesday is my date that i am working towards it should be wednesday i will keep you guys informed like subscribe share to keep up to date you can join my patreon for free if you'd like and you can stay up to date with all the information there so you don't miss it when it does come out and that's it. Please love, comment, share, subscribe if you have any questions or comments, and I will talk to you soon.